sums up everything that you know we thought about. Uh, you know, just coming here. You know, you come, you want to be a focal point, you want to be helpful, but when you leave, you want to be legendary. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was a blessing to be recognized with the greats. You know what I mean? It's like, God, man. You know, all the way back to Jimmy Nipper. You know, it's a lot of greats that've been through here. You know, so for me, it's like it's a long time coming. Been waiting now. But I'm glad the wait's over. You know, it's a lot of weight off my shoulders. It's a lot of tears that have been placed in this. A lot of blood, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears. I mean, a lot, you know. It was at one point I thought I was never going to be a fair cat again. Um, and here I am. You know, people are telling me that there will be no number one anymore. There won't be another mark, you know. And for me, that's special. It's a blessing. You, uh, when you think back to those days in your car sleeping in the driver's seat was 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 what does being here now mean to you knowing what you had to go through to get here excuse me you're good brother it's good practice for you too I thought I wasn't gonna never make it, man. I took a chance. Um, that I couldn't even see the future in, you know what I'm saying? I really, really, really wanted to be a Bearcat man bad. You know what I'm saying? And for having everything that wasn't my fault, you know, when I was ineligible that year. But the type of brotherhood that we had amongst ourselves in that 2005 class, I wouldn't tell on my brother. You know, and sitting in there, the things that I seen in the streets, you know, what I'm saying around the city, around campus, that was going on, um, and I seen everything out that window. Man. You know, everything came out that window, peeking out that window, hoping I can actually, you know, when I go to sleep, I can wake up. You know, just I thought it was never gonna have a chance. To and now here I am again. My name is mentioned with the group. So it was a blessing just knowing that I can be. That I. It's a blessing that I'll forever have a seat park next to my name. <laughs> It'll be. <laughs> I am Cincinnati football, and I showed that. I am everything that whatever any coach will tell you on a recruiting trip. I'm total opposite of what this NIL transfer thing is. I didn't give a damn what it was, how it looked. I wanted to be a Bearcat bad. I am Bearcat football. And that's the best way I can sum it up. Coach D'Antonio is the one took your scholarship, and you give him a lot of credit for you being here, being recruited, and doing what you did. Coach D gave me an ultimatum um, my freshman year, half, about halfway through the year. He said, Marty, I just, I need you to take care of business. We need to have you, and you are really talented. I told you that when we recruited you in the recruiting process, and I didn't hold up my bargain, you know, bottom line. And Coach D was a guy that was big on character, you know, big on accountability, even more than character, to be honest. And I, he held me accountable, and I took it on the chin. Like I said, we had a brotherhood amongst our brothers, man. And I looked at Coach, I was like, I'm sorry, but one, I'm not telling on nobody, one. Um, two, Coach, you said, hell no, do this, I didn't do it, so. Whatever my punishment is, coach, I'll take it on the chin. That's what it was. So I had to take a year, ineligible, practicing, making plays at practice, getting yelled at for making the plays at practice because I should be able to make them on Saturdays, you know? So going through that whole spill was was something that, again, I mean, I wouldn't change it. You know, I wouldn't change it. Marty, what is your number one memory that comes to your mind when you think about your time at UC? Terrell Bird 
and Marcus Wall. And this has nothing to do with football like that. And Terrell Bird and Marcus Wall lift off every squat day and every bench day that we had in the weight room. You, you got to think where I'm from, like 315 is like the thing. 350, you, you the man, right? I didn't even know that an Olympic bar could bend, right? So about two, three weeks in, we had a chance to have to get in with the offense and the defense together, you know? And they just kept throwing plates on and kept throwing plates on and, and some more plates. You know, before I know it, it was like, I think it was 505 or 510, something like that. And Terrell Bird gets, he, and Terrell's like this tall, man, you know what I'm saying? But he's like, he's buff with it, you know? Um, and I didn't know at the time, you know, he's USA Today National Defensive Player of the Year. You know, I didn't know he had all this credit, you know what I mean? So he gets under there and he's like, lightweight, lightweight. I'm like, lightweight. The bar's still not bending, but it's two guys. And again, I never seen a, squ uh, a spot with a, one guy on one side and the other guy on the other side. It's always been one guy behind you, you know what I mean? So they lift it. And when they let it go, the bar just bent. I was like, oh. And Burb bought it down, put it up, I think two or three times, you know, and racked it. Like, yeah. And then Marcus Wall comes. Marcus Wall's like, you know, he's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Again, just a muscle head, man. And those guys getting into that rack and watching that weight, that bar bend and just hex over like this. And, you know, you got the strongest other guys that's on the team. They're the ones that's kind of right there. I thought like right then and there, yeah, this, we finna have a good year. I guess this, that was one, one B is the first time we, the only time we lost to Miami. Um, I was blocking on towards the sideline and I got annihilated. Dirty, the dirtiest shot still to this day that I've ever seen. Um, it's one of the linebackers on their team. He caught me up under the chin um, at that time. He was on kick off return, if I'm not mistaken. And he caught me on the chin, split it, you know. Uh, shout out to Bob Mangine. He brought me over, you know, Bob shot me up, you know, <laughs> sold me up and was like walking to college football, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So those will probably be the number one things. I mean, outside of, I mean, everybody knows the, the kickoff returns and, you know, those things, but it's the stuff that y'all didn't see, man. You know, just us being able to hang out with each other and be a brotherhood with each other. You know, I, I, I say this more than anything, like that 05 class, one, the best class of football, best set of football we'll probably ever see in a set of class, the class of any guys, one. Not just because I was in it, but the other rest of the guys, you know what I mean? Um, two, the time that we spun together, you know what I mean? So we decided to not leave in the summertime, just hang with each other. If guys didn't have, you know, nowhere to stay, the guys that had off-campus housing, you guys come to my house, you know, make a pallet on the floor, sleep on the couch, whatever it is, you know, we're good. No need for no food money. I cook all the time, so we good, you know what I mean? Um, you know, we just, we just, we literally did everything again. If you were on the team and you went somewhere, you come in, you're gonna have at least 15, 20 of us with you um, because we held each other accountable. We didn't want nobody getting in trouble. You know, if someone was to get in trouble and we could have had guys with them, we needed every piece that we had. We, like, we knew we needed every piece. So we couldn't afford to lose any pieces to any foolishness, you know what I mean? So yeah, those two. What was my favorite jump into the student section and should we expect that tomorrow? Final question. The student section gonna see me. Um, <laughs> they're gonna see me and my son, you know, little Marty, he's running around here somewhere. Um, but they'll see both of us um, in the student section, of course, you know, of course.